Hey everyone, welcome back to Massive News. We have got a big update on the Lakers and 76ers game from last night, so let's dive in. Los Angeles Lakers fans, things are finally looking up at home. The Lakers faced off against the Philadelphia 76ers at Crypto.com Arena, and this game marked a major shift in coaching strategy by JJ Redick. After some lineup changes, Redick made his most significant adjustment in over five months, and wow, did it pay off. Redick decided to shake up the lineup by replacing Placing D'Angelo Russell with Cam Radish after a rough 1-4 road trip. This decision seemed risky but it led to a 116 and 106 victory, keeping the Lakers undefeated at home now at 4-0. Let's talk about Anthony Davis, who returned to the lineup after missing Wednesday game against the Memphis Grizzlies due to left plantar facetes. Davis put on a show scoring 31 points on 11 of 20 shootings, pulling down 9 rebounds and blocking 4 shots. This kind of performance is exactly what Lakers fans were hoping to see from him. Of course, we cannot forget about the king himself, LeBron James. LeBron secured his second triple-double of the season and the 114th of his career, finishing with 21 points, 13 assists and 12 rebounds. It is incredible to see him performing at this level season after season. Austin Reeves also stepped up big time with 20 rebounds, 7 assists and 6 rebounds. He shot an impressive 6 out of 10 from beyond the arc. After struggling with with his three-point shooting on the recent road trip. This game proved he can be a key asset for the Lakers. And how about D'Angelo Russell? Coming off the bench, Russell scored 18 points matching Delta Nets' 18-point game last month as the highest scoring bench performance for the Lakers this season. Russell shot 7 of 12, including two big three-pointers, showing that he is willing to embrace his new role to help the team succeed. And then there is Cam Radish, who may not have put up big numbers but his defensive impact was critical. Radish finished with 3 points, 5 rebounds, a steal, and a block shot. He primarily guarded Paul George, who struggled finishing with just 9 points. The 76ers, on the other hand, were missing key players including Joel Embiid, who was serving a league suspension, and Tyrus Maxey, who was out with a hamstring injury. Jared McCain stepped up for Philly with 18 points off the bench, but it just wasn't enough to overcome the Lakers' momentum. Up next, the Lakers stay home to face the Toronto Raptors on Sunday, continuing their three-game home stands. If they keep playing like this, we could be looking at another strong performance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any updates on your favorite teams. This is Massive News signing off.